Hey, good morning and welcome back. We are again studying devotionally the book of Malachi. We're in chapter 3. This morning, let's look together at verse 17. And you might have heard this in the children's story in your church sometime. Here's what it says. They shall be mine, says the Lord of hosts, on the day that I make them my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spares his own son who serves him. So there's a day coming. There's a day coming. God is going to bring an end to this whole current uh, obnoxious, noxious toxicity that's happening in our world. It's going to be a dramatic, dramatic change. The Bible teaches that. That's not our topic today, but the, the literal, physical, visible, audible, personal second coming of Jesus, that's coming up. But notice verse 17. They shall be mine who, well, in verse 16, we just read it yesterday morning, those who are thinking and talking about God each, with each other. They will be mine, says the Lord of hosts, on the day when I make them my jewels, when I make them my special treasures, the margin reading. So God is, God is looking to preserve for eternity every one of us who wants to be right, who lets him work in us, and lets him, just lets him forgive us and transform us. And he's making up his jewels and he says, I'm going to spare them like a man who spares his own son who serves him. So we want to be faithful. We want to be right as we serve him. He will bless us. He's looking to save as many as possible. Like Luke 12, 32 says, it is the father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom. We, he wants us there. You know, some people have this vision, or this viewpoint about God. God's uh, up on high with thunderbolts in his hand and a furrowed brow, and he's looking around, and he's, he's looking for people basically to cancel, right? No, he's not going to be in here forever. No, definitely not that guy. These 400,000 people, uh, the, the, they're out. And God's up there kind of pushing, throwing away as many people as he can. He's just going to keep a couple of really exceptional people. Wrong story. Not the Bible story. God is looking to save as many people as he can. He's looking so that as many people as possible can be in his kingdom. God, you know, he's a God of justice and fairness. Look at Romans 3.26. But even so, you know what? He's looking to see how many he can save. He's not looking how many he can, he can discard. He's looking how many can I legitimately save? How many are legitimately willing and able to turn to me? How many are legitimately desiring to turn to me? I will help them. I will help them. That's the kind of God we serve. So he's making up his jewels. You and I should be in there among them. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we definitely uh, would not classify ourselves as jewels hardly even as jewels in the rough. And yet, Lord, you know our hearts, you know where we are spiritually, you know our defects, you know our faults and how many ways we've gone wrong and are ready to go wrong. Please, Lord, though, it's your plan to forgive us, it's your plan to build us up, transform us, change us, and help us to be right. So, Lord, do that for us. We'll be saved purely by the, 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 the offering of Jesus, the sacrifice of Jesus, but we want to be right anyway along with that. So help us, Lord. Thank you. Thank you that you would even consider making us um, to fit in there among your jewels. We don't really see that, but thankfully, that's what you were doing. May we be blessed, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, God is so wonderful. Oh, I praise his name.